Hi, this is Travis with Wakanda Boats here in Republican City, Nebraska. Today we get to show you the new 2018, this is the 2075 Pro V Sport. Um, the 2075 and the 2175 Pro Vs are kind of unique to the, to the rest of the Pro V family. They have their own unique uh, interior layout and also uh, some, some live well upgrades that we're going to talk about once we get into the, into the interior of the boat. Um, but we're going to talk about everything uh, front to back. We'll look, uh, we'll look here, we're looking at an Arctic White Silver. Um, this boat was recently purchased, so it's actually rigged, so you get a chance to see what one looks like rigged. Um, but let's talk about the upgrades that we always stock on them on, on the exterior here first. Uh, a lot of guys already know we always do the Chrome 3D Lun logo upgrade. That's going to be uh, something we do on all of our Pro V models, regardless of what size it is. And then, of course, the other upgrade is always the custom trailer upgrade. So uh, for those that don't know, the custom trailer upgrade is a, it's a very good uh, option to get because you're getting a lot for, for a lot of value for what you pay in that custom trailer upgrade. You've got good looking mag wheels. It comes with a matching spare tire. They rhino line the whole frame of the boat, so it's very gravel resistant. You're going to get the swing tongue, disc brakes, uh, load guides and LED lights. Come back here to the rear. Um, just like all the Pro V's now, the Coast Guard requires that all boats have to have some type of a boarding device. So it's gonna come standard with this, what they call rescue ladder. A lot of guys are familiar with these that just fold out. It's got the three steps that fold down. So that's gonna, that's gonna come with all of the Pro V's. Um, and again, this one is purchased, so we've already got the 15 horse kicker installed for him. Uh, like always, we always do the 300 horse Verado. Um, that's the, you know, most requested engine for this boat. Uh, and again, on that 15 horse kicker, guys need to remember too, any, any big Verado or any engine you get with a power steering pump, always do the 15. Don't ever do the 9.9 because you're gonna get a lot more uh, battery capacity by going with a 15 over 9.9. This 15 has that 12 amp charging system, whereas a 9.9 only has six. So you're basically doubling your uh, charging capacity going with the 15 horse. So you'll wanna do that on any engine that has a power steering pump. So um, there's actually a lot of details that's involved with that. We may actually end up giving you a separate video kind of explaining uh, your options on what you can do in regards to your kicker and your, and your battery capacity. So um, let's stay back here to the rear. Uh, we're always gonna do a Tempest stainless steel prop on all the 300 Verados with this boat. Most of them go out the door with a 21 pitch. It really depends on we, you know, we customize each boat for the individual. Some of our Western guys will drop it down to a 19 pitch to try and compensate for their elevation. Uh, or guys that really load it down with a lot of gear, a lot of people, we might drop it down to a 19 for those as well. Most of them go out the door though with this 21 pitch Tempest. It does really well with this boat. Um, staying here to the starboard side rear, similar to, to the other Pro-V models, uh, middle of last year, they, they came out with a great, uh, uh, splash well boarding ladder for the for the 20 series Pro V as well. So you're going to get this really nice. Again, it's an option, but we put it on all of them. This really nice four-step folding ladder that recesses inside the splash well. This is a great great thing to have just for uh, ease of getting in and out, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. And uh, it's just a great design because it was a it was a big challenge for us to try and figure out. A boarding ladder that was that was mounted outside of the trance and when they came out with this it really solved all those problems so now if we stay here to the rear you're also going to notice that uh, you know this uh, gentleman opted for Lowrance electronics so we've got him an HDS 12 mounted on the console another great thing Lowrance did this year they uh, for your HDS models that have uh, side and down imaging your 3d it used to be last year we had to install two transducers you had to have one for your 2d and then one for your down and your side imaging. This year, Lowrance made what they call a total scan, which is what this is. So now it looks a lot cleaner. You only require one transducer now uh, to get all of your, all your features with Lowrance. Now, anytime we uh, install the electronics for our, bar, for our buyers, we always add this uh, transducer board. This way there's no holes drilled on the boat. You can mix and match electronics as the boat you know, goes on. You upgrade electronics or change. You can change transducers and not worry about drilling an ex a bunch of extra holes in the transom. So that's something that we do with, with literally all the boats we rig. So um, this pretty much, well, as far as the outside dimensions, let's talk about that briefly. The 2175, it kind of, it gets lumped into the 20 foot uh, category. Really, it's a 21 foot boat. This is, it's 20 foot 10 inches. So 
essentially it's 21 foot, it's 102 inches wide, so this is as wide as, as any boat one has in their lineup. They, they literally can't make them any wider, so it's a big water boat, uh, again 21 foot, 102 inches wide. Let's go to the interior and we'll talk about the upgrades that we do with that and the changes they've made. <clears throat> And uh, most guys are aware when we stock all of our boats, we try and stock them with the most in-demand options or what we do is we take a rough average of what most guys are requesting when we, when we sell our boats. When you look at a 2175, this, this is called the aft uh, deck extension, okay? So what this does, it serves two purposes basically. It, it adds to your casting deck here in the rear, so when you move your fish seat to here, you have more footing. And the other thing that guys really like about it, it uh, gives you added storage as well. They design it so it'll, it'll uh, take these Plano tackle trays. Again, you can use that storage for whatever you wish. Um, now another upgrade while we're down here, let's talk about, uh, we always of course do the, the vinyl floor with the snap out carpet. So this carpet will snap out for the guys that, uh, you know, that want to, uh, you know, make it, it's basically for the best of both worlds. You either have your ease of cleaning by taking the carpet out or it's a little more comfortable to have the carpet snapped in. Uh, your battery storage is right here. Um, we have that set up for this gentleman. Let's get back here. You're gonna see there's a power steering pump is, is here. Um, we've got an extra crank battery here and then we do an onboard charger for him. So he's actually got a three bank charger here for his all of his 12 volt stuff is all, all on an onboard charger. And then we've got our big 30, I think it's a 33 gallon live well here in the rear. And this is part of an upgrade that you get with the 2075 and or the 2175. It has the Prolong Plus live well system. So it's a little bit more sophisticated in the fact that it, it provides more oxygen to the water. So guys that are fishing tournaments and things like that, it's, it gives them a bit of an advantage when it's hot. This keeps the fish fresher longer, basically. So got a built-in bait well there. Um, that's all part of that package and then you can see our ski pylon base. Uh, Lund is installing those bases on all the Pro-Vs regardless of size now so for the guys that want the pylon you can we can just get it from parts and add that for the guys that are going to do some water sports you know with the boat so um, this covers the rear let's go now the other cool thing about the 2075 is the gunnel storage it has these sliding drawers and these are all stainless steel ball bearing drawers so they're really smooth sliding in and out and everybody kind of uses them differently. Um, you know, you can you can use your tackle trays here, or some guys will pull this out and just put whatever gear they want in there. And then also on top, you have some top gunnel storage here with a drain. So what little water does get in there, it will drain into the bilge. And guys use this for a lot of different things. You can get some rods in there. Uh, you know, it's just a dry storage compartment can be used for whatever a guy whatever a guy prefers. Slide those. And then move over to the starboard side. Um, again, this used to have the drawer in it, but it's actually better what they, they kind of redesigned it last year. Now this is just one big open storage compartment. The other really nice thing about the Pro-V is you can see how your gunnel has that recessed gunnel here where it wraps around. This gives you a lot more elbow room for the driver running both controls. But since they did that, it really had to make this storage compartment small when they had the, the sliding drawers in it. So they took those out and it's just one big storage compartment. So I think that was an improvement when they did that. Uh, we'll move up here to the starboard console. And we always do smart craft gauges on the bigger Pro V's, 2075 and the 2175s. So we'll do smart gauges. Um, this gentleman opted for an HDS 12. So we've got that set up on an, on an XL RAM. Um, our guys are really liking those XL RAMs. They're very, they're a little more versatile than the Cisco's and you can get them in tighter spaces. Um, the dash is pretty much the same as it was last year. It's got the same console as, as like the, the fiberglass series does. You got this really nice vinyl console top, um, kicker stereo, and all your switches and everything are right here readily available to you here on the starboard side. So, um, Great thing though about the Pro-V, again, that recessed gunnel is, is huge because a guy can swivel his seat 360 de degrees and not worry about bumping into his controls. You got your main Verado control and then your kicker. Um, and again, all your Pro-Vs, you're going to get these under console drawers to slide out. Those are also stainless steel bearings, so this adds, adds a lot of storage. That's the great thing about any one Pro-V, there's no wasted space. Wherever there's voids, they, they have storage. 
most of it is lockable. Okay, so we'll move here to the port side console. Again, we got a very spacious glove box, a great place to store gear, grab handle, and again, you've got your uh, ball bearing sliding drawer here under the port console. Cup holders, that stuff. Um, we've got a uh, ruler here, a fish ruler for you that's already recessed inside the uh, rod storage box. And another great thing that people love about the Pro V's again is the huge rod box, three stories, uh, 18 rods. Um, this gentleman opted for a 36 volt trolling motor, so we've got three batteries there under the panel for his trolling batteries, and then we have another three bank charger here for him to charge his trolling batteries. So it's very, very handy the way they have that system set up, all your weights there in the in the center, forward center. So it's it actually helps the the boat plane out having that weight there in the center center of the keel. Another great thing they did, they, they added uh, extra um, spacers here. This actually allows this dry storage to stay dry. You can see those water channels there. It helps, if you're taking water over the bow, it helps drain everything back into the bilge where the, where the bilge pump can, can pump that out if you're in really high chop. And then of course, uh, what the Probies are really known for, you got the big spacious bow. And, and tons of storage. This is all lockable here. We're on the port side. Big dry storage compartment here. We always stock them with the premium travel cover. Uh, those are great covers because you don't have snaps on the sides. It has clips that clip on the pro track uh, on the outside of the, of the boat. Uh, and again, you can see these large water channels all over this bow. So it really aids in keeping that gear dry and keeping the water flushed in toward the rear to the bilge. And then another great thing they do on this style boat, you can see you have, this is actually an insulated cooler. Uh, it's insulated, uh, you can throw ice in there and make, you can, I mean, you can store whatever you want in there. It was kind of designed to be a cooler because they did insulate it for you. Um, there's more storage under this or in, in the front of the port console. And then of course you're gonna get uh, bow cargo netting across the bow on the 20 Pro V. Uh, also we have a bow live well here in the front that uh, very good size by, by bow live well standards. Now another option we do is the uh, bow bait well. And this bait well is actually attached to the, the uh, bow live well pump. So uh, you can turn that off and on very easily with the valve. And it's just handy to have that there whenever you do use live bait. You can keep them separated and they're a little easier to access. Okay, uh, now there's another big storage compartment here on the starboard side. Again with the wide channel. And then uh, we'll move up here to the bow. Uh, we did an HDS-9 for him on request. And then we've got a, an Ultera, Minn Kota Ultera. Again, all the boats that we sell, you know, everybody does something different as far as what they want, as far as electronics and options. So we customize each boat to the buyer. So we let, we let the buyer decide what he wants, and then we install, we, we rig it for him. So um, I think that pretty much covers the video now for the 2075 Pro-V. If you guys have questions, please let us know. Terry's in Glen Elder, Kansas, and I'm Travis here in Republican City, Nebraska. Everything is on our website as far as our you know, email, phone number. Uh, we'll have updated videos and updated pictures as the new boats come in. So any questions, just email or call. Thank you very much.